Wales will need to be brilliant if they're to overturn this one. Big game for Gemma Granger. Getting the crowd on their feet. Alexandra Pop claims the credit. Wales will go again. Wales are in Germany this afternoon to face the two-time world champions, a real powerhouse of the women's game and a tough test for Wales off the back of two defeats in this inaugural Nations League. Ranked sixth in the world with 20,000 fans cheering them on, Germany a daunting challenge but one to embrace, says manager Gemma Granger. Guten Tag, a very good afternoon to you and some would say it's a little early on a Friday afternoon for football. Well, not us. We can't wait to get started on this one. Former Wales defender Katie Sherwood joining me and former Wales manager Jane Ludlow. And Jane, this is your first game, first women's game with us on Match of the Day Wales. And I just know you're going to show us the same passion and pride that you did as a player and manager. You know what's coming. Look at this face. Some fa hey, fabulous face. photos just coming across <laughs> your screen, everyone. But no, thanks very much for the invitation. Look, I'm excited about this evening's game. One of the top teams on the planet in the women's sphere. So really looking forward to the game tonight. And that shirt fitted you, which was very rare back then. To be fair, we were laughing at it earlier because it was one of the kits that I think we quite liked yeah. because it wasn't a men's XXXXXL. Always a positive. Yes. Always a positive. Right then, this afternoon, Nations League. It's been a tough one for Wales. Two defeats on the bounce and it only gets tougher, doesn't it, Germany, as Jane has alluded to this afternoon? Yeah, we're under no illusion what challenge awaits the team this evening. You know, Germany and then Denmark on Tuesday. It's going to be tough this evening. There's no way I'd rather be, to be honest with you. Well, one lucky member of our team tonight is out there, Alex Richards. Good afternoon from southwest Germany and welcome to a cold and damp pre zero arena. Normally home to Bundesliga side TSG Hoffenheim, in previous seasons this stadium has played host to Champions League football. But tonight it's all about the Nations League and Wales women as they go head to head with hosts Germany, who certainly got a point to prove after a disastrous World Cup campaign. Let's take a look at how the sides line up for tonight's match then. The big news is that Germany are without their captain and influential striker Alexandra Pop for tonight's game. The two times Champions League winner has been ruled out with a muscular injury. A significant blow for the hosts who are now without arguably their best player. It's still a German side packed with world class quality though. The tenacious Lena Orbedorf starts in midfield and Clara Buhl, who scored two against Iceland, retains her place up front. For Wales, Gemma Granger has opted for two changes in the forward lineup. Hannah Kane comes back into the side after recovering from a torn tendon. She replaces Rachel Rowe, who hasn't travelled with the squad due to a muscle injury. Kayleigh Green is also rewarded for her second half performance against Denmark with a place in the start in 11. Carrie Jones drops to the bench. Olivia Clark retains her place in goal after impressing in her Women's Super League debut against Arsenal. Well, I caught up with Wales team manager Gemma Granger earlier on, and here's what she had to say. Just talk us through tonight's team selection. Well, I'm joined pitch side now by former Wales striker Gwenan Harris. Gwenan, team news first of all. Germany without Alexandra Pop tonight. She's out with injury. A big blow for Germany, but a massive boost for Wales. Yeah, it is a big blow for them, but as you said, huge for Wales, uh, especially defensively. You know, she just offers such a presence, special, especially early. Right then. Um, as Alex mentioned earlier, a blow for Wales injury-wise with Rachel Rowe, but Hannah Kane, Leicester City's Hannah Kane, she is very much back in the mix this evening. Right then, we've already alluded to this. Germany, two-time world champions, not really at the top of their game at the moment. So, is trouble brewing? Alex has been finding out. Sophie Ingle ready to lead her team out, so let's join our commentary team for this one. Gwen Ann Harris, who's with Simon Davis. Thank you, Catherine. Another top-tier test for Gemma Granger's side. But that is what the Wales manager wants and believes will make her team better. Germany have won the World Cup twice, but disappointed in this year's tournament. Does that represent an opportunity for Wales? I think it certainly does. You know, it's a good time to be playing Germany in that sense, because obviously there's a lot of expectation on them, but confidence is low. 
However, you look at it on the flip side, obviously, you know, as I said, the expectation is high on them. They know that they need another repeat performance of what they gave against Iceland. So it's a, uh, expecting a fiery performance from them this, this afternoon. Well, this is how they line up, Gwen Anne, and of course the big news that Alexandra Pop, the notable absentee from that 11, captain and star player, scored four goals at the World Cup. She's on the bench. Much will be expected of Bayern Munich's Leah Schuller, who scored 33 in 52 for her country. She's even been compared to the legendary German striker Gerd Müller. And don't forget Cara Bull as well and her quality, also of Bayern Munich. She scored twice against Ars Iceland last month. And there we see the coach, Horst Horbrech. But the referee tonight, Monika Malacic, leading an all-Polish team of match officials. And this is how they line up this evening. Gemma Granger has made two changes from the 11 that lost heavily to Denmark in Cardiff last month. Rachel Rowe's injury sees Hannah Kane of Leicester City start instead. Striker Kaylee Green back in a starting lineup in place of Carrie Jones. Kaylee Green, the Charlton striker, winning her 72nd cap tonight. We shall wait and see. And we're underway. Welsh hopes of avoiding relegation could be hugely helped or hindered here in Germany. Well, let's have a quick look at the table then. And, uh, well, Wales, you'll find them there at the bottom. They'll fight it out with Iceland right at the end of the campaign. Denmark are top, Germany second after that win. And uh, Tuesday night, well, Wales will face Denmark. Halloween night, let's hope they're not in for a horror show in Vibork. Fingers crossed it's more treat than trick. And that's where we'll end it on that positive note. We always knew it was going to be tough, didn't we? Two-time world champions, but it did prove a difficult watch in the end. We go again on Tuesday night. We'll see you then. No start. Good night. Needs a header. Oh, good clearance off the line. The pressure has been relentless. Up to our Schuller. One 0 and it has been coming. Wales boosted by that save. James Holland, 1-1. Fantastic goal for Wales. Germany on the move again, and it's 2-1. Wales guilty of conceding goals.